Welcome back. The Biden administration's already at work on a new president's management agenda. According to the Council of Inspectors General on Integrity and Efficiency, some of the government's top management challenges have been on the list for a lot longer than the pandemic's been around, and the virus has made some of them worse. Allison Lerner is chair of SIGI, Inspector General at the National Science Foundation. Michael Horowitz is chair of the Pandemic Response Accountability Committee and Inspector General at the Justice Department. Folks, welcome. Thanks very much for joining me today. Allison, I start with you. How are some of the top management uh, challenges across government either getting worse or staying the same because of the pandemic? Certainly, we've seen some of these challenges, which are not new, um, affected, being affected by the impact of all of the money that has been pushed out to respond to the pandemic challenges. One of the examples that we have um, at the Department of Transportation, the agency there had just gotten to the point where their improper payment rate was below 1%, which is outstanding. But they're quite concerned that because of the, the, the need to push out a great deal of money and the, the fact that they were unable, probably unable to examined the money as carefully when it was going out, that that improper payment rate is going to increase. And that's just one example of the impact of, uh, you know, the, the, the attempt to respond to the pandemic on pre-existing challenges. Michael, how is all of this affecting the individual offices of inspectors general across government where these agencies have to push through these vast amounts of money in short periods of time and may or may not have the infrastructures necessary to be able to keep tabs on where the money's going the way they need to. Well, it's having a very substantial impact on IGs, particularly as those of us who oversee significant spending uh, related to the pandemic. We've got not only the uh, issues that we've always had to deal with as IGs in conducting our oversight, but when you're talking about hundreds of billions of dollars uh, for your individual agency, um, and conducting oversight over those additional uh, dollars, particularly with the kind of fraud and, and improper payments that we're seeing at uh, agencies like SBA with the PPP program, at the Labor Department with the Unemployment Insurance Program and others, it creates challenges upon challenges for those IGs. What does the landscape of oversight look like, Michael? I mentioned as you came on the program that you were leading the PRAC, Brian Miller, uh, from the, uh, uh, the Special Inspector General Pan uh, Pandemic Recovery was on the program a moment ago. What does this look like overall, and where do your colleagues on SIGI fit into that landscape, Michael? So when Congress created the PRAC through the CARES Act, um, what the PRAC was intended to do and what we are doing is bringing together all of those IGs that have responsibility over uh, oversight uh, at their agencies and making sure we're being coordinated, uh, working together on these issues and thinking about cross-cutting challenges um, that we're seeing. For example, data gaps. Uh, those are critical to conducting oversight. We've got to get the data to understand um, how the money is being spent, whether it's being spent wisely, whether it's going to the places it should be going, and whether there's uh, fraudsters out there that are misusing the programs. Allison, the waste, fraud, and abuse topic is one that the three of us have spoken about on a number of occasions. How is that changing, and how, how are you and your colleagues adjusting to those changes as a result both of the pandemic and as a result of some of these management challenges, as you alluded to, being here for a while, not necessarily going away very much? I think one of the important things that we do is come together and try to identify situations, as Michael alluded to earlier, where you have uh, challenges and, and fraud schemes that cross multiple agencies and work together closely and carefully to combat those schemes collectively and not individually. And we've seen some great success doing that in the grant fraud context. And I think we'll be seeing more and more of that uh, over time as people see the benefits of combining to, to tackle these challenges. Last time you were on the program, Allison, was when you had just taken over as the chair of SIGI. Now that you've had a mm -hmm. chance to kind of sit in that seat for a little while, what's your sense of the tools that you and your colleagues will use both to help the new administration with its management agenda and addressing these ongoing management challenges and the pandemic recovery as it continues 
and what are the tools that you'd like to have? Well, one of the major tools that we use, and, and you can see this um, both in the traditional work that we do, but in the, the, the PRAC space is ac having access to data. And, and that's more important than ever and having it in as timely a fashion as possible. Um, another challenge that we have is, is just the need to ramp up and ensure that we have sufficient people in situations where, uh, like at the Small Business Administration or at the Department of Labor, um, a, a massive amounts of, of money and, and significant degrees of risk are, are, are facing an agency and an OIG needs the community to come together and provide additional support to them so that they can respond to that challenge and we've 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 seen great things happening from the community coming together to help the SBA IG confront um, the the massively increasing number of investigations that it has so um, working ensuring that we can have the resources and that we can come work together to tackle these chances will, will set us up for success Allison Lerner and Michael Horowitz thanks both very much for joining me today it's great to have you on the program Great to be here, Francis. Thanks. Thank you.